This is a follow-up to the non-planar lip video that I did some time ago. I will be sharing some alternative strategies. I would encourage you to check out the earlier video so that the following discussion will make more sense. In the previous video, we did an offset from the top. We can actually do an offset from the side. Thank you to Kadir for the suggestion. Before we begin, make sure to activate the bottom housing. Begin a sketch on the right plane. Go to Create, Project Include, Project, or simply press P. Select these edges to project to the right plane. Take note to not select this surface to project as that would actually create multiple lines on top of one another and create problems during the offset. Once the projected entities are created, click OK. Double click on one of the entities to select the whole chain and go to offset. We are going to offset downwards. You can see that the offset line does not actually fully cut through the whole body. Just take note of this for the moment. We shall see later why this is not an issue. Finish the sketch. Go to Modify, Split Face. Select the faces to split. Select the offset sketch as a splitting tool. There is an option to extend the splitting tool. If you uncheck that, you will see that the splitting surface only extends up to the sketch line. If you check that, the surface extends naturally beyond the sketch line, past the body that we need to split. So check on that and hit OK. Next, go to Modify Offset Face. Select the faces and adjust according to the lip thickness. So overall, this method looks to be simpler than the one I had demonstrated in the previous video. Let's unhide the top housing. Since we have removed material away from the bottom housing to create the lip, how do we go about creating the groove on the top housing? Now that there is actually no interference, how do we use the bottom housing to cut into the top housing? So let's hide the bottom housing. Activate the top housing. Go to Modify, press Pull. Select this surface and adjust until it cuts completely into the bottom housing. Now that there is an interference, you can use the bottom housing as a cutting tool. Go to Modify, Combine. For target body, select the top housing. For two bodies, select the bottom housing. Change the operation to Cut. Check on the Keep Tools option so that the bottom housing is retained. Looking at the cross section, you can see that this produces a clean cut. The parts completely match each other and there is no excess material. Let's hide the bottom housing to take a better look at the groove of the top housing. Let's revisit the sketch we had created on the top plane in the previous video. There is actually a way to directly use this sketch to extrude. Begin the Extrude tool. Pick on the profile created for the lip. For the Start option, select From Object. 
and pick on the top surface of the bottom housing. Let's turn to the side and drag up the arrow. You can see that this creates an extrude that follows the original curved surface and it is in a direction that is normal to the sketch plane. 